Hi, I'm Bruce, the blind man handyman. Okay, we're bleeding the brakes now. And what I've done is, remember we put saran wrap on the top of this? Now we've opened the top here, and we're gonna let gravity do all the work. Don't press the brakes, okay? Thank you. Yeah. And we got someone inside doing the bleeding of the brakes. We're gonna go to the, what we've done is we let all, we had all the bleeding nipples open, and then we just wait. You don't need to pump inside of it all until way at the end. Because we had every line off this truck almost, except for way up here where they don't rust. Usually going to all the other components, they're good, but it was all the ones going to the wheels. So, now, they all flow down, and when, we, when they started dripping out, each caliper and each piston in the rear, then we shut them off. Now I'm going to go to the, the back now. So just by gravity alone, all these wheel cylinders have leaked towards the opening. So what I'm going to get the person to do in the vehicle has to push on the brakes, then it'll create pressure. And the brake pedal at first might go right to the floor, but he pushes it there and he holds it there anyway. Because what you're doing is you're compressing air. Then you'll open up the nipple and you'll let it go. You'll open this up a little bit. It'll, it'll go sput, sput, sput. And then you'll close it. And then eventually after you do this, sometimes you might have to go around the whole vehicle once to get all the air out. You just do it a couple times until you see a bit of fluid. When you see a clear flow of fluid with no bubbles, you stop and eventually his pedal will start coming up where he doesn't hit the floor. And when his pedal is up and he's not hitting the floor, you want him to push on it and you want to open it a little bit and then close it and still have the, the pedal not touching the floor so you can just push the air down through the lines. Okay, Chad, can you just don't pump the brakes? Because that causes it to get little bubbles. Just push it down slowly to the floor, please. Yeah, and just hold it. Did it go right to the floor? Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to open this valve up. The little thing. Okay, there's some little noises. Okay, up. Just slowly. Not too slowly. But up. Now the reservoir is going to take brake fluid. And then I press it down. You can hear a little crack noise. All right, up, down. You hear the brakes engaging. Okay, that's one. Once I just open it, up, down. Okay, I put my finger on top of it, on the nipple right here. And what I do is when I get my finger on top of this, I can feel the fluid coming out under my finger. Up, down, you down now? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm opening it, I can feel the fluid, and if you feel, you'll feel bubbles going under your finger. Okay, I got that, that one's good. I, I went twice. When I can go twice and not feel any bubbles, I'll go around the next one. Okay, down, up, down, Up, down. Do you have any pedal, Chad? Yeah. I'll talk because I don't feel any here yet. Okay, up, 
down. To the other side, I felt a couple of bubbles, but this side so far. I'm hoping that all I'm getting is straight fluid. Up. Down. Up. Down. I'm a retro fairy tape. You feel it going down, Chad? Yes. Did it go right to the floor? Yes. Up. Down. Did it go to the floor then? No. Okay. Up. So we got a couple little bubbles. We can tell we're getting air out because it's not going to the floor, so there's not much air in the system. And that's how it works. When you use the gravity, and you put the Ziploc on top like that, like I did, you won't get to... Let me show you over here so you can watch it. Okay, now I'm doing the front here, and you got a good view. So I can't see the air bubbles, but I'm going to open this up, and maybe you'll see some where you can hear them. Oop, see that air bubble? It just spurted. It's okay. Up. Down. So I'm going to keep my finger on it because I'll feel those air bubbles under my finger. More air bubbles. Okay, up. Down. You down? Okay, up. Down. You can hear the fluid because I got my finger on it pretty tight, but I don't feel it. That's that's like the third time now. You pushing down? Yeah. Okay, up, down. So you can see the fluid coming under my finger. Okay, up, down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it open it up so you can watch it. See, no air bubbles, just all solid fluid. Okay, up, down. There's one more, so I don't want to feel it myself. That looks good to me. So that's how we get the air out. How's the fluid there, Dylan? Always keep an eye on your fuel fluid. But if you just let it run out like I did, and it was really full, usually by the time I bleed them, usually it's not too bad. How's it looking? Oh, it's, I think it's just at the, uh, oh, it's a little under the full. Yeah, a little under the full? Yeah. See, now I bled the brakes. We fill it right up, and then when I, I fill it right up to the top, and then when I'm at the end here, I bleed the brakes a few times, and usually that's, easy for this. Bring it down, then I'll top it up. I'm just gonna leave it because there's no way it's gonna run out right now. Just trying to find the stupid thing. Okay, can you see there? Can you put the brakes on? You down? Okay, here we go. Probably see the bubbles then. Mm -hmm. Up, down. Well, there's some good bubbles. Okay, up, down. You down? Mm -hmm. Up, down. You down? Mm -hmm. Okay, up. Down. Check that reservoir. I don't like the noise. No, I can see it. It's been shooting out the whole time. Up top? Yeah. Oh. Come here. It was overfilled. Yeah. See you hearing that that time? A little bit. Up. Down. 
Usually I got a little straw, that, little tube that goes over top of this, and you can watch the air bubbles. So it does. The person I got in there, I'm not worried about it, but sometimes you got some people in there and they don't know. But there's, you can stick a little hose on this, and you can recoup the fluid. But this truck is really old, so I want to I want to flush the fluid out anyway. So that's why I'm catching it in the oil pan. Otherwise, I got a little tube that goes on here, and it recovers the the oil you dump out. But I want to get rid of all this anyway because it's old. You down? Mm -hmm. Are you in it? No, I didn't see it. Yeah. Up, down. Looks pretty good now. One more. Up, down. Looks like a solid stream. Yep, down. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go around once more. Now you got a good pedal, right? Chad? Now, yeah, yeah. Let's go down once more because now he's got a good solid pedal. And I can definitely make sure that fill up that reservoir down there. 